Well, hello again. I'm so glad that you've been able to join me. And I'm on this fantastic road trip to the Grampians. It's a high country in Victoria, the state of Victoria in Australia, the good old Australia. Problem is, it's been quite windy, blustery and raining. Um, and all the way across from home, I was encountering quite heavy rain. But I'm not going to let that deter me one little bit. I'm here to enjoy myself. I'm spending quite a few days here. So I'm hoping the weather improves and especially the nighttime clears. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to look at the sights and sounds of this great district and I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. Rising abruptly from the surrounding western plains, the Grampian is a series of rugged sandstone mountain ranges and forests rich in wildlife. One of Victoria's most popular holiday destinations, the park is a great venue for camping, climbing, scenic drives, bushwalks and nature studies. A network of walking tracks throughout the park allows you to explore cascading waterfalls, brilliant spring wildflower displays and panoramic views from lookouts. So here we are in the town of Halls Gap. This is right in the heart of the Grampians district and I guess it's the main hub where all the tourists come to. But you can see it's just an absolutely beautiful landscape around here. Now I'm not sure there's too many places where you'd get the local wildlife this close to civilization. You can see this little old kangaroo up the back here. This place is renowned for it. Now one of the places I've been intending to come to whilst on my trip over here is Heatherly Quarry. It's an old quarry that has a heap of old machinery. I've seen plenty of pictures of it, so I've decided I'm going to come over here and do some light painting at night. So I better get up there. It's a 1.2 kilometre walk up the track behind me, so I better get going. I'll tell you what, this trip's really going to test my fitness out. I'm not used to doing too much of this backpacking. Now the weather's starting to close in, so I'm going to have to hurry up and get up this hill and hopefully it doesn't rain too much before I get there. Let's go. Okay, well this is exactly what I'm talking about. This old machine will light up beautifully with a bit of light painting. I'm not sure there's not very much sky around here, but I did work out that that's uh, easterly direction, so if I get any Milky Way, it'll be coming up right over the top of this machine. Okay, what a beauty. Well, as you can probably hear, it started raining. Uh, thankfully, they've got some old huts here at the quarry, so I've taken a bit of shelter in here. Also, thankfully, I had a few lights with me, so I've just lit up the inside of the hut so you can see what I'm doing. Um, there's some great stuff out there. I'm really looking forward to taking some images here tonight. I just want this rain to disappear. Okay, so this is the scene I've seen in all the brochures and catalogues. So it's finally just about stopped raining, so I can have a bit of a look here. But it's a, some sort of old boiler, and it's got all the ingredients for a fantastic light painting job. Rusty old nuts and bolts, and cogs, and sprockets, and, and all sorts of braces, and even some old stonework. So I'm really looking forward to coming back here and having a look at this one. Now, the weather is really flaky here at the moment, but I'm expecting that for the whole week, to be honest. So I'm gonna work around it. I'm definitely coming back here. And unless it's really pouring rain, I reckon I'll be able to do what I need to do here. So, can't wait for it. All right, well, here we are back at the car. It's starting to get dark here. It's about half past five at the moment. Um, so I think the first thing I'm gonna do is rustle up something to eat. And apart from that, I think I'm gonna spend the night here. This looks like uh, as good a spot as any. This particular trip, I'm uh, roughing it a little bit. I'm gonna be sleeping in the back of the car for a couple of nights. 
and then um, but this looks good it's close to the road um, it's a nice flat dry spot here who knows what the weather's going to do tonight might keep me awake all night but yeah I'm going to go up there later when it gets dark and and see how we go with some light painting okay well here we are back at the Heatherly Quarry and there's lots of stuff here as we saw in the daytime and I'm currently going around light painting all these different things this building here I'm just working on now I've been working on the old boiler up the hill there um, and there's an old, another old machine over there which I found I don't have any idea what that machine is but I think it'll look fantastic anyway it's quite blowy and windy here tonight but it hasn't rained and even better than that the stars have come out so I've got the Milky Way core behind a couple of these shots tonight and I'm really really wrapped about that what an absolutely amazing place this is there's so many things here there's old boilers and wheels and chimney stacks and pulleys and the whole lot of it is just overgrown it's like a jungle down here it's like it's just growing out of the jungle man this is just awesome okay so what I'm actually doing here is light painting this old machine here and I've taken about five or six shots so far um, and I've set the aperture to f8 on this uh, the shutter speed at 15 seconds and the ISO at 400 now that's a fairly conservative um, uh, group of settings but for this particular shot I couldn't get the sky in the background so um, I could spend all of my energy just lighting up the actual machine itself so let's see how it goes So I literally had to fight my way through the jungle to get to this spot here. But gee, I'm glad I found this. It's an old tank that's half buried in the ground. It looks like some sort of underground bomb shelter or something. But the good thing about it is, in that uh, eastern sky over there right in front of me, the Milky Way core rose up between the trees. And I reckon I've got a fantastic shot of this. So I'm so glad I made the effort to come here. Well, I reckon I've been out here about three or four hours now. I'm starting to get pretty tired, um, and I think I'll probably head back to the car. This has been a fantastic location. There's so many things to shoot here. It's a bit difficult because of the amount of trees. I'm hard up against the mountain on the other side, but I reckon I got a few shots there that were, you know, really, really good with the Milky Way core open on the, on the eastern side. So, um, yep, I'll just pack up my gear now and uh, head back, and I'll, I'll catch you guys later. I'll tell you what, there's nothing quite like a good hot cup of tea and a biscuit on a cold winter's morning like this. I had a fantastic night's sleep last night, which is a little bit surprising, but it rained a bit, uh, which was pretty noisy on the roof of the car. But apart from that, it was quite good. This morning looks pretty gloomy, not sure what to expect, but I'm up for any adventure that comes my way. Okay, now this is Lake Lonsdale, and I've found this spot here which I particularly like with all this rock around, and I really like these rock pools. It's been raining a lot, so I may as well make use of the water. Now, perhaps I can get some reflection in the night sky. Um, my prediction is that um, the Milky Way core will be across the top of the Grampians, which you can see in the background there, uh, early in the morning. So if I happen to come out here, depend it's all weather dependent, but if I happen to come out here, I reckon it might be pretty good. Okay, so this looks like another possible uh, angle I can do. I'm still at Lake Lonsdale. This time I'm looking out towards the eastern sky. And of course the Milky Way core is going to rise early in the evening at the moment. It's in June. 
middle of winter in Australia, Milky Way core is going to rise right over the top of the lake over those trees. So I can see that as another possible shot here. So it's been a fairly frustrating day so far. The rain's come back, it's very, very cloudy, and the forecast is for uh, heavy rain and thunderstorms tonight. So um, at the moment, I'm climbing up the mountain, um, and I'm gonna just have a look at a few sites and see what it looks like up here. Um, I think, I've been up here a few times before, and it's always fantastic, it's lovely up here. Um, and I've shot some, some of the scenes up here very successfully, but um, I don't want to commit to anything just yet because of the weather forecast. All right, well, somewhere up here, I want to get some shots. As you can see at the moment, it's really, really foggy, raining, and not a star to be seen. But um, I'll persist and I'll see how I go. My plan up here is to get a day to night time lapse. So I want to be able to see the lights of Hall's Gap, which is just down there in that valley, appear as the uh, sun goes down. So that's my plan. It'll probably take about three, three and a half hours to complete, but we'll see how we go. The weather closed in even more, so I decided to leave the mountain and look for somewhere to settle for the rest of the night. Unfortunately, I wasn't going to get my time lapse up at Baroka this time, but maybe I'd be able to set one up somewhere else later on. Now I've just arrived back in town and I've got a bit of a confession to make. I've got a heap of food in the back of the car, but you know, I'm just gonna duck into the shop and buy a pie. I just want something that's really easy tonight. So I'll see you guys later. I came back to Lake Lonsdale last night. It was pouring rain and I decided, well, that's it. I'm just gonna have to spend the rest of the night in my car, but at about 9.30 last night, the sky cleared. I looked out and it was clear. So I came out down to this rocky area here um, and got some shots and I'm so pleased that I did. It was just a beautiful, amazing spot to be. Mm -hmm. 